This man yeah. really left his wife depressed and then dropped off a kid talking about something. Literally. This is by Steve Harvey of all niggas. Welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your yeah. man, Steve Harvey. Look, bro, I don't know who you is, but you gotta get man, out. Man, I know that ain't who I think it is. Survey, <laughs> show me your father figure. And I would say they get to the bottom. What's more? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tear Smooth back again with another video. Zephyr, you gotta chill out. Mark Grayson is a fraud. Invincible season two. Invincible season two, way better than season one. Um, I will say a lot better character arts. Um, just in general, Mark was going through a lot. You can't really, <laughs> you can't really come from my man's like that. He he been through a lot, but I ain't gonna waste no more time. This look like it's about to be lit. It's like it's about to be fun. Before we dive in, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you love the Smooth Squad family, ring notification bell so you don't miss out on other content. That being said, let's hop into the video. Let's get it. <laughs> it's invincible time, man. DJ, if you don't play my So I binged all eight episodes of Invincible, and y'all know me, man. What can I possibly say besides they are all frauds? I just watched eight episodes straight, and nobody got hands. And the main listen, perpetrator listen. to this is Mark. Y'all read that? Hold title. on now. Invincible just <laughs> last season he was getting dogged left and right. You saw how Battle Beast did my man's, but you know it was his first time on the job, so I had to hit him with the. I'm gonna have, have to let it slide. You have to let it slide, bro. But this time, you bro. There's no way out of this one. You're done. And that goes for this whole cast. Nobody got hands. Yes. Like I real life saw this man fighting with Sexy Red's Poom Poom for an entire episode. That's how you know this man's cooked. I'm not even going to hold back. We're going to get into it right now. Starting with the battle against Anissa. <coughs> It was the joke about the little lobster monster, bro, for me. That shit. <laughs> ah. So, I watched a video on Anissa versus Invincible and why Anissa showed him he wasn't. <laughs> bro, that fight was crazy. You gotta understand, though. He was holding back, number one, from now what we know, and, like, two... She probably was just like that. Village might from what I've seen. And their first meetup goes different. a little sound like this. If your bitch look too long, then she took me. Do you know how hard it was to find chocolate that liked white boys? Just let my girl go, bro. Catch me outside. How about that? A few moments later. Now they get to yapping Why outside, and then this will catch his word so that there's dope. something going on on the other side of the planet. He pulls up, and it's this giant fish monster, bro. I know Blueface can recognize that smell from a mile away. And I want you to look at the title of the video, and then look at me, and then guess how this goes down. See what I'm talking Let about, bro? Why is this nigga struggling against a fish, bro? Bro, grab that nigga or something. I don't know. God damn. But because Mark is so sorry, Anissa finished the job for him, and she's like, look at you. All these humans would be dead if it wasn't for me. Actually, I would have done this all myself. If don't even say nothing <laughs> to me, boy. You look like a motherfucking uh. Mark trying to fight back clearly got her tight, and Cecil's on the intercom like it's a Discord Thanks. call. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga is crazy. Fall back, bro. It's not worth it. But Mark, for some reason, wants right. to be a big man. Listen, I don't know if Mark's morals is there, if he's just a good person, if he just was trying to big ball it. Hey. And he's talking about some, show me some damn little ho. He imagined in his head while quaking in his boots. What he actually said was, all right, ma'am. I think it's time for you to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Not <at least. laughs> and this is how you know Anissa was about to cook my boy so bad. Most of the time before a big hit, the cameraman gonna replay that whole three times. No. But the man behind the cams was like, nah, that's, that's not, not enough. enough. And showed four different angles 
of the punch before it actually connected. Like, I don't know what's worse, the cameraman glazing or the actual hit. Sit that man up to the ozone layer and already destroyed his fit. And I'm crying. Any form of opposition leaves this nigga in tatters. You stare at Invincible intensely Yo. enough, I swear he just might die. She <laughs> knocks him in the water for good measure, and this is where Invincible nah, tries to that get nigga some really did He swoops fly. in and gets a clean right butt. Nah, no, I'm about to leave. Not only did she eat that oh, on the chin with me, no I scratches, she talking about some the nigga chin. <laughs> that whole wind up punch was nothing but Not a, the nigga a wind. She's walking out with a new Vegeta cosplay. And she really been flexing that nigga chin. She been mewing because she hit him with the nah, nah. Oh, no. if you don't get it. And yeets that man across the Atlantic. And she really skipped my man on the water so much. Every time he lands, it sounds like an 808. Cecil on the intercom telling this nigga, run, get out of there. It's over. But this man Invincible is really Bro, talking about some. Bro, that was a nice I got it. Bro, go. Bro. You, you ain't it, pressing bro. nobody, Brody. And it's proven because he tries to swing at her and he gets it with the. Damn. He really about to rock my shit. <laughs> he lands and she said, come here, boy. Like, <laughs> <"Duh, look laughs> nigga ain't getting no time to rest. Started beating this nigga to a pulp. Nah, I can't even watch this, bro. Hits Brody with the double knees like she Robin. It ends up making a crater. And she began to step on my man's neck and she was talking about some say it. Mommy. Yeah, now nah, I'm turning this <laughs> off, yeah. And I know if you never watch this show, you watching this confused right now. You're like, bro, why is the main character so sauceless? And my dog, I'd agree. I don't know why this nigga's so trash. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and act like Invincible got a full cast of niggas that can box. The villains are stacked, but the heroes gotta be the most sorriest cast I've never seen. There's only two people I know Except in this Rex. show that can box, and that is Omni-Man and Rex. And his fight okay. starts off with the Lizard League pulling up on him like okay. this. And they whole squad ends up going zero for three. Montez we got Gore. duplicate out here being straight KD food over here getting dogged. I can't even show all this on screen. I got kids to feed, bruh. But just know, this man's out here ripping her apart like how Thanos did Iron Man. Making her into donuts, straight munch cakes. And while she's trying to run, he hit her with the fusion. That was bad, but I can't even decide who was worse. Because Miss Ant-Man gets grabbed like an ice cream cone, and his two brain cells was in there like, um. Chocolate vanilla swirl. Started growing inside him. She really bring in the Ant-Man booty tactics to fruition. And look at him. Got him spazzing like Tetsuo. And right when he was about to spit her out, nah. Swallowed her whole, leaving Rex in a 2v1. And after seeing this man the whole show, I really thought he was going to get hit with the Allen. <laughs> but nah, my boy was really out here cooking. Turned my girl into a Gojo cosplay. And even though Mr. Abomination over here bit my man's finger off, he still popped that man's head like a balloon. That's okay, so Rex, what's up, nigga? What happened afterwards was really a stamp of a I real nigga. nigga. Watch this. Gun to the back of your head, name five DDG songs. Um, you had, you, you, you can. Man, I'm dead. <laughs> For the love of God! But this nigga really God. rose from the shackles yes, did, of like, the death. Undertaker. Bullet in his head and all, and beat his up to a pulp. And this cemented Brody for me. He's certified for show. He even started stepping on niggas. Stepping no on 20. Me. What? Good and lord. No, nigga, that's what I want to see, bro. Right? I love when gag one. characters all of a sudden tee up. And this is one of my favorite examples. Congratulations, Rex. You are now one of two people in this show that actually got hands. And that leads well, us to the second person that got hands. Adam proving e. that Mark ain't nothing. Which is Omni-Man. And that Adam brings e. us right into the Viltramite battle. Now, Mark is only really here because Omni-Man's a D-head, bruh. It really takes talent yeah. to be this much of a high-level bastard. This man yeah. really left his wife depressed and then dropped off a kid talking about some. Literally. You did it wrong. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom. <laughs> this is why I stopped shopping on Amazon. <laughs> That's literally what he... Bro, it, it sound worse than what it is. It's still no. It's nah. I can't even. Bro, y'all just gotta. But watch they get pulled up on by Steve Harvey of all niggas. Welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm your yeah. man, Steve Harvey. Look, bro. I don't know who you is, but you gotta get man, out. Man, I know that ain't who I think it is. Survey, show me your father figure. 
And I would say they get to the boxing, but there is no boxing that play, bruh. This man gets nah. hit with the African backhand and tries to spark up a combo only to get done like Mikey. Nigga, real life bounce on concrete, bro. Yeah. That's not even possible. And that's not even the worst part. This nigga got pinned down to the ground with one finger on his temple. Look at him <laughs> squirming on the floor. Where are you going, little bro? And Omni-Man had to save him. He changed that broke nigga's life. And you're gonna see this a lot. Omni-Man had to bail him out way too many times. He put Steve Harvey on a stick and then pulls up the other Viltramites. I'm seeing Omni-Man and Invincible posted up and it's reminding me of simpler times. Back when Gohan and Trunks was fighting 17 and 18. But other than the real nigga dying in a kiddie pool, this fight goes the same way. And my boy's over there getting sucked. Peep this weave, weave, bop. Huh? My man's getting dog so bad, it's getting the real nigga yeah. distracted. Until Look at he... Omni-Man. Giving that he, man the Arkham combo stopped, straight you know, and the only hits he received back, in he this battle when he was beats. trying to save face for Mark. And look at this nigga copping the plea talking about some. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! Like, nah, this nigga so sorry, bro. Get him out of here, cuz! This man got the Omni Man pep talk and everything and still went zero for 40. Getting dribbled like a soccer stride, bro. No way this y'all miss. But after this, for the first time in the video, Invincible actually locks in. Hits her with the uppercut, block, mm -hmm. nail in the face, from mm -hmm. across the terrain. Mm -hmm. That's what we live for, it's nigga, I wanna see this. But she ain't done though. It's he pulls up easy. to her like these, hits her with the hee hee. Yeah, Mark, double hit. And this play right here shows that Mark has hands. He's just too lazy to apply what he learns. Because while she's trying to attack, he dodges out the way and hits her with a light liver shot. And if you a martial arts fan, you know the liver shots are lethal. They be disconnecting you like an AirPod. And he uses that to his advantage. Clocking her right there, got her leaning. Only to follow up with the real shot to the ribs. And to end it off, my boy hits a spin move right into a backhand. You see what I'm talking about? This nigga yeah. can fight if he tries. He do and got all hands. That, he gets up and he she's do, like, you see? finally. Licking her lips. And I'm watching her in this scene. And I'm like, hold on. Why she kind of, why she kind of, hey, why she, why she, she kind of what? So, Nikki right here, just like that, you diving in. Without a doubt, my nigga, I'm fly. <laughs> You filthy. <laughs> Number one. Number two. Nah. Can't do it. That little. I mean, tight. You can see with that break. You can, you know. That's it. That's. I mean, Mark, mom. Don't come after me, bro. Um, Adam. Yeah, or Eve. Yeah. I die. I'm a bub. But they start going hit for hit in this PowerPoint slideshow, and this is how you know these ain't no anime animators. When they don't want to animate something, these niggas sleeping. Let a map of animator not want to do one scene, look what happens to him. But to end this scene off, Omni-Man gets one of the coldest kills of the show that I sadly cannot put on screen without getting age restricted. Yep. Just know it's raw. He cooked. He always cooks. He never will not cook. And while he's getting his MK fatality off... Hey! You see what I'm talking about? This man is sorry. Now, thankfully, we got hit with one of the coldest Omni-Man kills of all time. My yeah. dog dragged her by the yeah. weave and broke her jaw. Had her looking like Bulma in that one movie. And while he <laughs> starts to take care of his garbage, son, all you yeah. hear in the background is, Your spine's looking breakable, survey says! <laughs> leaving all oh of them God. knocked out. Because of who? Mark. Grayson. Like this man is really just visible. And it really gets me to wondering why is this nigga so sorry? And it can't be the shorties. This man got two straight baddies. You give that to a regular nigga, he's becoming the most try hard gym person you will ever see. So why yeah. it ain't work for Mark? I don't know. I might have to play the Berlizzi clip for this nigga cuz. 
You're, he's gay. It's actually sad though. We could go through every fight in this season, and this nigga just fails. We listen, already went listen, through two, listen, and listen. we could keep it going. Episode you one keep proved it going. to me that this keep nigga is nigh unsavable. The alternate reality we're watching is supposed oh. to be the cold version of Invincible, right? But even this version can't even get past the immortal. The but same nigga that's gone through the whole show, lived five thousand years, and has not seen a single victory. He's just immortal <laughs> CP3. And this nigga dating a teenager. Major? Man! Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. And guess who has to jump in to save him? Sit back <laughs> and enjoy the show. It's actually insane. Does your back hurt from carrying this much, nigga? And when we get back to the regular reality, we got Doc Seismic. And although he wins the battle, he has lost the war. Like he really let this whitewashed bobby destroy the Washington Monument. And just to prove this whole scenario could have been avoided, this nigga swooped in not once, not twice, but three whole times until he finally teed up. I don't even know what to say anymore. Y'all clearly see this nigga's garbage. I could go through this, this whole is, this season, is but dog. Though, the first time he fought him, he didn't have the equipment the he had. So like, where this nigga that's actually not fair. Teed up. And that's the fight against Angstrom Levy. Like, not only he does this man have a KSI head shape, he was really choking out Debbie thinking that he's tough. And when Invincible ain't remember his old turd at, he started getting Too tight bad. as hell. Like, I'm crying. This <laughs> nigga's really the spot. And y'all know how this episode go down. Nah. Every time Invincible was trying to box, this man was pulling out his weak ass portal business. I know his ugly laugh felt so what tough, too. Know? But he was really bringing this nigga everywhere. Dinosaur, mm -hmm. Spider-Man, I don't even know what's going on Thank anymore. You, but when he comes back, we see Debbie episode. on the floor destroyed. Like no, Shotty ain't even deserve this yeah. nigga. You're just you're weird. Yeah. This is when Mark actually starts teeing up and I'm like, oh, hold on, this nigga cooking. But sadly, it was only for two seconds. Cause Angstrom Levy and his KSI head shape started putting the beats on Mark, hitting him through each and every dimension oh. before having oh. him on the floor choking. But Mark breaks out and this nigga's like <laughs> Laughing in a posture like this is crazy. Like, yeah, you up, nigga. Lame man. I'm not stopping until your entire family is dead. And I saw Mark hit that. Stop threatening my family. I was like, oh, yeah. man. is this nigga actually tough? Replay that scene real quick, man. Cause hold on, bro. Stop threatening my family. And I heard that mm. for the first time. It brought me back to when I was mm. 10 years old here in Gohan. Like, tell them to stop it. <laughs> I was like, nah, we getting some generational cooks. This man Listen, slams that leaf. I got you even uh, with a better one. I'm my father's son. You know, you know, Dragon Ball. He sends him across the map, sends a pummel into the floor, and this nigga starts going, I'm right, I'm left, I'm right, I'm left. I'm right, I'm left. Oh my God. This nigga up. Like, it was getting so bad for Brody. I saw Lee yeah, put his he, hand yeah, up yeah. like, Spare me! Like, oh, you <laughs> copping the plea, nigga? Oh, man. But he was really beating the tomato sauce out of oh, my no, boy. He he's looking was, like Omni Man. And by the oh, time he gets up, he's already turned to a pulp. And that's where we get this iconic panel. This whole scene was so cold, I almost took back my entire statement. But nah. This nigga still a fraud. Now, hopefully, after this fight, this nigga comes back and has one of the hardest careers I've done ever seen. I heard that other suit he got is similar to Black Suit Spider Man, oh, so oh. I'm ready for some greatness. I I'm am too. Oh, I can't wait for season three. Season three is gonna be litty. Hey. Wait. It's like you got common peace. Switch to Chrome to stay in sync. See, see, every time I want to listen to music, a bump with y'all. It's crazy. This was actually really enjoyable. Um, you gotta cut Invincible slack, yo. That man was holding back. You know, <laughs> didn't have the books to learn how to like defeat. I ain't even. I can't even say all that. <laughs> I can't even listen. Cut Invincible slack. He young, all right. He's still he's still learning. <laughs> this was fun. This was enjoyable and like really funny. Sapphire. This one was great. Thank you guys so much. Here's smooth.